Welcome back. In this video, let's learn about the dialogue component from Material UI. A dialogue is a type of a modal that appears in front of application content to present important information or ask for a decision. Unlike a snack bar, dialogues disable all app functionality when they appear and remain on screen until confirmed or dismissed. Since they are purposefully interruptive, make sure to use them only when necessary. Let's understand the usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. muidialog.tsx Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. The first thing we need is an element to open the dialog pop-up. For that, let's use a button. So import button from MUI. In the JSX, replace the div tag with a fragment and within the fragment, add a button. Open dialog. Below this button, we add our dialog component. For our example, we're going to create an alert dialog which requires an acknowledgement from the user. To create such a dialog, we need a couple of components from Material UI. So at the top, import dialog, dialog title, dialog content, dialog content text, and finally, dialog actions. These components are nested at various levels. The topmost component is the dialog component. Let's invoke it in our JSX. Within the dialog component, we add the dialog title component. The text is going to be submit the test with a question mark. Below the title, we add the content. So invoke dialog content and within dialog content, invoke dialog content text. Here, I'm going to add the text. Are you sure you want to submit the test? You will not be able edit after submitting. Finally, let's add the actions. After dialog content, invoke dialog actions and within the component, add two buttons to submit or cancel. We can also add the autofocus prop on the submit button. We have now utilized all the imported components. For the next part, let's take care of accessibility. On the dialog title component, add id is equal to dialog hyphen title. On the dialog component, add aria labeled by is equal to dialog title. Similarly, on dialog content text, id is equal to dialog description. And on the dialog component, aria described by is equal to dialog description. All right, we now have everything in place. So let's handle the opening and closing of the dialog using a state variable. At the top, import use state from React and create a state variable. Let's call it open set open and the initial value is false. Now on the button component, we handle the click event. We're going to call set open passing in true. On the dialog component, add the open prop and assign the open state variable. Also handle the on close event. On close, add a function, 
where we call set open passing in false. On the two action buttons, once again, let's close the dialog on click. So I'm going to copy, so on click is equal to an arrow function which calls set open passing in false. All right, we now have all the necessary code in place. Let's include this component in app component. And head to the browser. We have the open dialog button and on click of the button, we see the alert dialog. We see the title, the content and the action buttons. You can either click submit or cancel as both handlers simply close the dialog. In your application, you might want to trigger an API on click of the submit button. So this is pretty much how you use the dialog component from Material UI. Now what we have seen here is one use case of the dialog component. It is possible for the dialog content to be forms, a list of items, etc. It really does depend on your project requirements. Hopefully, after watching this video, you have an idea of how you can implement any dialogue you wish to. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.